welcome back to day 15 of the Proverbs 31 Day Challenge. And today's topic is the Lord sees everything. And that's verses 1 through 33. But I got to be real with y'all. Today was a really, really tough day for me. Like, one, it started off, I mean, I can't say it started off bad because I'm blessed. I'm, I'm alive. I'm a well. I'm well. <laughs> but I was actually just like... I just felt like the spirit of depression or just this or it was like the spirit of worry that was on me and I mean I just could not pull myself together at all like I just could not get it together so I mean I was crying I was just like really going through like a spiritual warfare like really because I just it's like in my mind I want things to be a certain way but they're not a certain way like when it comes to like my business that's the main thing like, it was my business. Like, I'm just thinking, like, man, my business should really be, I mean, at least doing well for itself, you know? But it's just, it's not there right this second. And I'm like, Father God, isn't this what you told me to do? And, like, I really was going through it today. So, um, my, my church is Transformation Church. So, if you want to go on YouTube, you can look them up, Transformation Church. Um, this series is called Help, I'm Hurting. And it's so crazy because today's topic was um, help I'm hiding. And Pastor Charles was preaching today. And that, when I tell you, that blessed me so good. I mean, I still was like really going through it. So I had, um, I started praying and I actually, I'll put here because I went into my prayer room. My prayer room is like behind my closet. It was just like, it's really like a room, a little small room. And I'm like, what would, when I first moved here, I was like, what would I even use this space for? But it just came to me. It's like, Holy Spirit gave it to me. Like, make this your prayer room. So I'll go in my closet, go to the back part of my closet, into that room. And I'll just start praying and talking to God. And I really, like, when I say I was going through it, like, sometimes you'll have days like that. But it's best to get into hiding, get into the covering. And that's what Pastor Charles was talking about. So if you ever get a chance, um, look up Transformation Church. And it should be the first video. Um... It's help I'm hurting is the series, but today's topic was help I'm hiding. So if you are ever finding yourself, you know, going through a tough time, this video, that video will definitely help you. Of course, you got to pray. Talk to God. You don't just go to other things besides God. Go to God first. Talk to him first. So um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this. The Lord sees everything. A kind answer soothes angry feelings, but harsh words stir them up. Words of wisdom come from the wise, but fools speak foolishness. The Lord sees everything, whether good or bad. Kind words are good medicine, but deceitful words can really hurt. Don't be a fool and disobey your parents. Be smart, accept correction. Good people become wealthy, but those who are evil will lose what they have. Words of wisdom make good sense. The thoughts of a fool make no sense at all. The Lord is disgusted by gifts from the wicked, but it makes him happy when his people pray. The Lord is disgusted with all who do wrong, but he loves everyone who does right. If you turn from the right way, you will be punished. If you refuse correction, you will die. If the Lord can see everything in the world of the dead, he can see in our hearts. Those who sneer at others don't like to be corrected and they won't ask for help. They won't ask help from someone with sense. Happiness makes you smile. Sorrow can crush you. Anyone with good sense is eager, is eager to learn more, but fools are hungry for foolishness. The poor have a hard life, but being content is as good as an endless feast. It's better to obey the Lord and have only a little than to be very rich and terribly anxious. A simple, a simple meal with love is better than a feast where there is hatred. Losing your temper causes a lot of trouble, but staying calm settles arguments. A lazy person refuses to clear a thorny path, but everyone who does right walks on a smooth road. Children with good sense make their parents happy, but foolish children despise them. Stupidity brings happiness to senseless fools, but everyone with good sense follows the straight path. Without good advice, everything goes wrong. It takes careful planning for things to go right. Giving the right answer at the right time makes everyone happy. All who are wise follow a road that leads upward to life and away from death. The Lord destroys the homes of those who are proud, but he protects the property of widows. 
The Lord hates evil thoughts, but kind words please him. Being greedy causes trouble for your family, but you protect yourself by refusing bribes. Good people think before they answer, but the wicked speak evil without ever thinking. The Lord never even hears the prayers of the wicked, but he answers the prayers of all who obey him. A friendly smile makes you happy and good news makes you feel strong. Healthy correction is good, and if you accept it, you will be wise. You hurt only yourself by rejecting instruction, but it makes good sense to accept it. Showing respect to the Lord will make you wise, and being humble will bring honor to you. So that's the word. Make sure that you meditate on it, get it in your spirit, read it over and over again. And I'm going to go ahead and close out with a word of prayer. Father God, we love you and we thank you for this beautiful day of life. Thank you for your, your love, your grace, your mercy. Thank you for putting breath into our bodies, for you are our source, Father God. You make ways for us out of no way, Father God. We just thank you for this challenge, and we just ask that you will help every hurting area that is within our hearts. Because I know when one person in the body of Christ is going through, we all go through. We all suffer together. As you say, to be of one mind. But Father God, we love you, and we know that trouble doesn't last, and that you will bring us through our every storm, Father God. But Father God, just help us to continue to trust you and not go back to our old ways of doing things, Father God. Help us to stay focused on you and the path that you have laid out for us. A man makes plans, but you, you direct us, Father God. You help us to get on the right path. And I just ask that you will continue to give us wisdom and understanding and the knowledge that we need to continue to do life well. But we love you, Father, and we honor you, and we thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for always just coming through for us, Father. You always make a ways for us, and I truly, truly appreciate that. I plead the blood of Jesus on everyone that's under the sound of my voice and any evil spirit that is coming up against uh, me or, or our households or anyone that's under the sound of my voice. I rebuke those evil spirits right now in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on me, my family, and everyone that's listening to me under the sound of my voice, Father God. Father God, I just thank you. I love you, and I'm so grateful for life. We are all grateful for life. And thank you for always just providing and being attentive to the details of our lives, Father God, for you care about the details of our life. And I thank you. I thank you for being a father who is so great and so big, but you still care about little old us. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, take care, everybody. Lord willing, I will see you tomorrow.